Hey guys, my name is David, and you are watching Stories Told. Today, I am going to explain a horror, science fiction, thriller movie, called The Platform. Please be aware, the video contains spoilers. Goring, wakes up, and finds himself in a concrete cell, marked with the number 48. A hole is in the middle of the cell, he looks down and sees it going several stories down, as well as up. His cellmate is an old man, named Trimagasi. Goring asks him about the purpose of the hole, and he tells him that it's for feeding the inmates. Goring tries to talk to the ones below, but Trimagasi immediately shuts him down saying he shouldn't make conversation with them because they are lesser. Goring tries to draw the attention of the ones above, but once again he is shut down by his cellmate, telling him it is unnecessary, as the ones above won't listen. Goring finds out that the old man has already spent many months at the facility, and that they're going to spend exactly a month at their assigned level. Suddenly the lights on the wall switches from red to green and a platform comes down from the upper level. The platform is crammed with leftovers. Trimagasi immediately starts to gobble on it, but Goring finds it disgusting. He picks out an untouched apple from the pile of half-eaten food and decides to keep it for later. The platform leaves their level and the temperature in the room increases. Trimagasi tells him it's going to increase until he gets rid of the apple, as they are not allowed to keep the food. Goring tells him he is there because he wanted to quit smoking, read Don Quixote and after six months, he even gets an accredited diploma as well. Trimagasi was very surprised to learn that his cellmate is there voluntarily. The lights go off and Goring watches the platform traveling up with very high speed. The next day he still refuses to eat the leftovers. He asks the old man about why is he in the facility. Trimagasi tells him that he saw a teleshop ad in the TV about a knife sharpener called, Samurai Max. This product can make the bluntest knives extremely sharp, so sharp you can even cut a brick with it. He states that he doesn't even use knives that often but he was mesmerized by the ad, so he purchased one. The next day he saw another ad about a knife that never goes blunt, it sharpened itself, as it cut. He became furious and threw his TV out of the window. It fell on a man and he died instantly. They gave him a choice to go to a psychiatric hospital or the hole. Goring asks him about how many levels are in the hole. Trimagasi says that at least 132, because he was there once. Goring is shocked by the fact that people on the lower levels hardly get any food. He once again tries to call out to the upper levels to ration their food so everybody could have some, even the ones on the 100 plus levels or below. Every inmate were allowed to bring one item with them. Goring tells Trimagasi he chose the book as his one item, and asks the old man about his. With a smirk on his face, Trimagasi tells him he chose the self-sharpening knife. On the third day Goring finally bites the bullet and eats the leftovers from the platform. The next day, while he is reading, a man jumps down the hole and hits their floor while falling. Goring seems shocked and helpless, but his cellmate is not even bothered by the events. He starts asking questions about the old man's former cellmates. He assumes that he got assigned to Trimagasi because he killed then ate his cellmate when he was on the 132nd level last month. Their conversation is interrupted by the platform arriving, but this time, a woman sitting on it. Her name is Miharu, and she comes down every month looking for her child. Trimagasi tells Goring that she kills her cellmates before coming down on the platform, so she has a chance of getting reassigned with her son next month. The platform descends a level below and the two men there tries to seize Miharu. After a short brawl we can see that Miharu crawls back to the platform. The next couple of weeks we can see that Goring adapts to the habits of Trimagasi and starts to resemble him in his actions as well. He's becoming less concerned about the well-being of others below, only focusing on his own needs and pleasures. The two men starting to develop a strange friendship even. The last day, before the reassignment of cells, they chat about believing in God. On reassignment day, Goring wakes up fully tied to his bed. He looks on the wall and notices that they got assigned to level 171. Trimagasi tries to calm him down and explains to him that he only tied him up as a precaution. He is younger and stronger than him and he might kill him as the hunger grows with the days passing by. He refers to Goring as a little snail as he will be carefully harvested just like snails for escargot. He explains to him that on day 8, he will start cutting little strips of flesh from Goring's body, feeding on it and even giving him his share of himself. The following days, the two descends into madness and the time finally comes for the first harvesting of Goring's meat. We can see the platform descending as soon as the knife cuts into his thigh. From the platform, Miharu jumps down, bashing Trimagasi's head with a bottle and quickly slitting his throat. He frees Goring and gives him the self-sharpening knife. Finally free, he springs on his cellmate and brutally murders him with his own knife. 
He passes out quickly after the events took place. He has a fever dream where he feeds on the already rotting body of his former cellmate. On the other side of the room, Trimagasi tells him he holds him accountable for his actions. Goring wakes up in relief, noticing the new level he got assigned to as 33. His new cellmate is a woman, named Imogwiri, and her dog is named Ramesses II. She calls out Goring by his name and tells him about items people have asked for in the hole. He recalls the interview about getting into the facility, since she was the official who asked the questions. He's asked about his favorite food which happens to be snail escargot, the very same dish that Trimagasi was talking about. Back in the present, he asks her about how to get out of the hole. She replies that he cannot escape, and she is there voluntarily as well. She tells the official name for the hole as Vertical Self-Management Center, and there are 200 levels in it. She also tells him that there are no children allowed in the facility, with the minimum age to enter being 16. The platform arrives and the woman creates two plates of dishes for the ones down below and asks them to do the same so this way, people at the lower levels get food as well. The following days she is still trying to convince the ones below to ration their food, but they ignore her. Goring being fed up with the ignorance of the people below, tells them to ration their food or otherwise he's going to defecate in their food every single day. His intimidation seemingly working, but Imogwiri isn't satisfied, as she thought she can persuade them to do good without threatening them. We can see the platform coming down with Miharu on it. She seems to be unconscious, so they quickly decide to help her and get her to one of the beds. During the night, Miharu kills the dog and eats it. Imogwiri tells Goring that she selected Miharu 10 months ago but she didn't have a child. She was an actress and wanted to be like Marilyn Monroe, but went crazy in the hole. Imogwiri tells him the reason why she decided to come to the hole. She has cancer, and the day she found out she has not much time left, she decided to spend her remaining time in the hole, trying to help on people. In the next scene, we can see chefs carefully preparing a snail escargot for the platform at level 0. The very next day Goring wakes up in cell 202. Imogwiri hanged herself by the time he woke up. Goring is hallucinating about Trimagasi and Imogwiri telling him what to do with her body, and that he is a messiah as well. They tell him a verse from the Bible that John told at the Last Supper. In the following days, Goring starts to go completely insane. He finally wakes up from this nightmare to his new cellmate screaming. Baharat. The new cellmate has a rope with him, and he is trying to persuade the others on top to help him get up. Being on level 6, Baharat is going crazy about getting to the top as he has never been so close to the surface before. The men above agreed to help him out getting to the top, only for Baharat to find out that they let him down and he almost fell to his death. One night, Goring convinces his cellmate to get on the platform and hand out rations every single level below them, achieving the solidarity they previously talked about. The previous month Goring made some calculations, and he believes that there are 250 levels in the facility. The very next day, they make weapons from the metal bars of one of the beds and get on top of the platform. On level 7 they meet two of Baharat's friends, they helped him out previously with his climbing. Goring refuses to hand out food to them because the first 50 levels eat every day. One of the men tries reaching for food but Baharat hits him. They stop on a level, where they meet an old man in a wheelchair. He supports their mission, but he also has some criticism about it. He believes that they need to send a message to the administration, because without it, their efforts would be all in vain. They agree that the message will be a perfectly untouched dish that gets back to level 0. This dish is a panna cotta. Once they get to level 50, they start handing out food as they agreed to do. They pass through several levels where nobody is alive. They notice that the platform doesn't stop, if the inmates are dead. They stop on a level where they notice two guys beating up Miharu, they immediately come to her aid killing the two thugs. Sadly, they were late as Miharu is already dead. One man with a katana gravely wounds Baharat. They pass the lower levels without trouble. They pass through level 250 exceeding Goring's calculations. They stop on level 333 with seemingly no one in the room, but they notice a child under a bed. The platform leaves and goes down but there aren't any more levels. Baharat has the panna cotta in his hands but the temperature in the cell doesn't change. The child crawls out under the bed and they notice that she is a girl. They decide to give her the panna cotta ultimately failing their mission to send an untouched dish to level 0. During the night, Goring has another nightmare about Trimagasi telling him wasting his place on level 6. He realizes that the girl could be the message. He tries to wake Baharat, but he already passed away during the night. Once the platform reaches their level the next day, he climbs onto it bringing the child with him. 
They float in complete darkness with the only light source being the hole from above. Trimagasi comes out of the darkness and tells him that his journey is over. Their message requires no bearer, only the girl, so Goring steps off. The platform ascends, but we don't see whether it gets to the top of the hole or not. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and subscribe. Thanks.